Oops. I know we all use and love the Oops key. It can undo our every f up. At Flash and Trash Works, our consoles have a special keycap for Oops labeled Bugger, because why take your job too seriously? Some days I know I feel like I live on the Oops key, but if you don't know about some of the finer points, you might not be getting everything you could out of it. First, let's look at the setup window of the Oops options, which are available in the User tab. Did you know that you can only Oops back up to 100 steps? That's probably enough for most people, but if you find that you want to drill down what items can actually be oopsed, then you can turn off the undoable options here. General is for most items, so I recommend keeping that on, but you might choose to turn off views since changing back to another view is really just so simple. If you turn off programmer, you'll lose the oops function while editing your look. Again, I definitely keep this one on. And if you're the serial oops button hitter and you want to undo a bunch of your previous syntax, try holding down the oops key. This opens up your multi-oops list and you can select how far back you want to go. You can even clear out your oops list, which doesn't undo all of your work, but it does make undoing those last 100 items impossible. If you want to do that, the syntax is oops space slash clear. And you can't undo that, which kind of makes sense. There isn't currently a redo to the Oops's undo, but M8 does have some documentation about it in their manual. The idea is to have the syntax keyword unoops serve as a redo to the last undo. Again, it's not yet implemented, at least not in version 3.0, but here's hoping they can get it in. Until then, we just have to scroll back in our command history and rerun a line or two. 